Okay, so hello friends, today our topic is late tuberculosis of lymph node. So before watching this video, please watch the early tuberculosis of lymph node. You will see an annotation in your skin now. So watch the early tuberculosis of lymph node first. Now let's start. So in case of early tuberculosis, so there was three characteristics. So first one is the granuloma. Okay, granuloma. Next is epithelioid cell. Cells. And the uh, multiple epithelial fixed to form Langhans giant cell okay Langhans giant cells now because it of late that is the it is going to chronic stage okay uh, now granuloma will cause this granuloma area will form cassiating granuloma okay cassiating granuloma by cassius necrosis okay cassiating granuloma looking like cheese like appearance cheese like appearance appearance so let's see in the histopathological slide so here it is here it is the cassiating normal granuloma is become the cassiating tuberculosis granuloma okay cassiating tuberculosis and here are the epithelioid cells present here you can see epithelioid cells now in this picture here is the Langerhans giant cell also present multiple epithelial cell peaks to form here the nucleus and here it's another cassius necrosis which causes the cassiating granuloma okay and here are the epithelial cells here you can see the nucleus epithelial cells okay so that's it for the late tuberculosis of lymph node so guys thank you for watching this video if you like this video then please do not forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe my channel